Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cal playing Super Castlevania 4, and today it's World Day. I think everyone kind of agrees that World 8, well, okay, not everyone, everyone, but most people agree, World 8's probably the hardest level in the game, all things considered. Uh, we'll see how this goes, but if I'm gonna continue for a first time, I wouldn't be surprised if it was here. Welcome to Dracula's Dungeon! He's just got this going on in this basement. The music is kind of dour, and, uh, there's big mechanical things everywhere. Uh, you can see some, like, little green hint in those spike traps. And also you might see, like, green puddle, or like a green drip here, which, yes, it will hurt. In the original Japanese version, those are red. Which I guess the implication that is that they're blood, but I'm gonna be real. I don't mind the change to green for the American version. Cause like, I don't know man, like I can believe that a green thing is gonna hurt me. Like it's probably acid or poison or something. Blood doesn't hurt that way. Touching blood is not gonna have much of an effect on your life. For the most part. So, good for you, localization team. Even if it was technically out of censorship, like, it's fine. I guess. We got bleeding eyeball, man. I don't know if I want to be on top or on bottom here. But I want to be on top. Got it. I'm gonna destroy you, even though you're just gonna come back. Uh, welcome to the dungeon where everyone enjoys themselves. The eyeball gym is now just kind of up there forever. Yeah, he'll sweep sometimes. Oh, that's an instant kill. And like, you know, when a thing kind of lands on your head suddenly, I understand why it would instantly kill you, but it's a little silly when you're just kind of brushing against the side while it's rising up. Video game. I don't know, man. You gotta jump on this and so yeah, like it feels fantastically terrible. I call it like that because I think it's on purpose. And also, I don't know if you've noticed, but like, I feel like, you know, when we... Really? Really? Okay. See, I, I figured I'd game over here, but not because of that. So while the game controls better than like, the NES Castlevanias, I mean, I'm sure you've noticed there is definitely an awkwardness to jumping. And, uh, God damn it, like, really? Alright, this time make sure that the platform is like 5,000 meters high. Alright, maybe if I go here, yeah, the eye, okay. Stay away. I did it. I made it past this part. Wow, I'm not going down there for the axe. In what world would that... Thank you for the one-up. Unexpected. Jump for the drips. Destroy the fire. I cannot reach you here, but I can jump on this platform and cry. Do I want to cry? Not really, but I'm going to. Alright, this I guess this is what this is looking like. Really ugly. Hell yeah. Time yourself with a thousand tiny things. I wouldn't eat a chicken that I find here. Surrounded by all this green, the color of poison. Just kind of funny. Is it? Yes. It is. Alright, alright. I'm glad we got that sorted out then. Like, what is the strat here? This, I guess? Maybe. That, that, that little tool is pretty scary. I bet there's something pretty good in that candle, but I'm not gonna find out. Oh, that worked better than I thought it would. I didn't think it worked on it. I mean, it's a tool. Giant knives on the ceiling. I don't know if you saw them. Very subtle. <laughs> Welcome to Night Zone, I guess. Alright, let's destroy the world a little bit. Didn't destroy that guy, though. What? Can I hit you from here? Can I hit you from here, sir? I can. That's great. Alright. Time yourself with the poison drips. Uh, where's the poison? Yeah, that one, like, there's not even, like, a ceiling of a bat. I don't know why I jumped over the bat. I don't know. He was in a weird angle, okay? Don't judge me. I'm good enough at judging myself. Constantly. Is there meat in this? Gross meat! This is the grossest meat you can think of. It's right here. 
So you can imagine that something shenanigan is gonna happen with this series of blocks. And the bat that is there to show everyone that, oh yeah, shenanigans will happen. It's the shenanigan. Alright, now we're at block 82. We can hear the ruffle of the something in the background. Don't have enough better word for it than the something. Yeah, throw a knife. I don't know why I did that, it just felt good. Oh, it's this old trope, the skeleton out of the wall. No, the Medusa vertical zone area. Except there was like one Medusa then, I guess. Oh, there's the next one. All right, be careful. It's like, ugh. Like, do I want to go there? Like, where do I want to go? It's a mystery for most people. All right, meat here. Meat is good. Meat is- that's a skeleton. He's doing shuffle. He's like afraid or something. I don't know. He's a coward. He's like, whoa, I'm so afraid! There's chains around me. Well, good. You know what? It's good. If there's rain or snow or a thunderstorm, the chains will wiggle. I'm sorry if I'm not going down the stairs. I, you might hear it in my voice. It's kind of like... My nose is feeling stuffy, and I was like, touching it, touching my nose. I'm sure you've noticed that there's a weird texture on these stairs. It's nothing, don't worry about it. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and crawl, because I'm pretty sure those do a ridiculous amount of damage. Get that higher up candle, there's nothing there. Be invincible now, and despair, because it's gonna last like an attosecond. Like it's already over. Like, it's just, I, I don't understand. There was like not really even anything to, okay, so we're back at the knives. It's knife time. Night time, knife time. Ugh, it's that guy's time. I don't like Mr. I. Please go away. Uh, what do you want from me here? Something like that will do. And then I'm gonna kill you. I think you can just do this. Yes, you can! Yay! I- No! So, what happened is extremely ridiculous. So, as you notice, I was crawling forward, and I was like, I'm going to stop in order to hit this candle, right? Okay, uh, that was bad. Well, so this is what happens when you game over. If I press password, I cannot continue. Like, it just ends, so... There we go. There we go. Yeah, so like, I was pressing... Down and diagonal, because I was crawling forward. And so I was- I wanted to stop. So I let go of down and kept pressing forward. Instead of the opposite, which was what I was supposed to do. Alright, I mean, I probably wouldn't have had game over it if I died like, three times to, like this place over here that's coming up. So if I like make it past there instantly or something, we'll know that that's the real reason why I game over. Uh, what? I do not understand the physics. Dude, uh, come on. You know what? If I keep dying before the midpoint, I feel like the correct move is to keep restarting. Like, just kill myself, like, till I game over so I have all my lives at the midpoint. Like, dying is basically instant. Oh, that's gonna ruin the counting of the lives, though. Well, you know what? I guess it does.
Alright, so we're already back here. It's all good. And again, like, I realize that all of this is strictly my fault. I did a really bad bad. Just like that. Like, I just did, like, a bad mistake. I, I admit it. Here I can make myself invincible. To what end? I'm not sure. I guess to cross those two drips of poison? There you go, that's your reward. Cool. Not sure how much damage those, like, ceiling knives do. I'm assuming too much. I wouldn't be surprised if they insta-kill you, honestly. Um, yeah, so, just do this. Do not let go. You, I, to whip the, yeah, so to whip the candle, you do need to, you do need a stand? Uh, in what world are those candles worth that? They're not. They're traps. They're explicitly traps. Great. Well, I'm glad we had this discussion then. Oh, that looks like shenanigans. Oh, that's hot. So now I can't go up there. So I thought it was if you landed on them. Alright, well I can't go up there. So, uh, welcome to Shenanigan City. Oh, there's knives too. Yeah, Shenanigan City. The thing is, they might have good stuff in there, but like, I'm not gonna know. What do you get up here though? So you get Big Heart, Dracula's money, and that's it. It is so not worth it. I was hoping that I could hit it with a dangle, just so I could know what's in it. <laughs> just barely, though. <sighs> so it is. Time to die instantly here. I mean, yeah, like, I don't, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, that was on purpose. Hey, it's boss time. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Frankenstein! Uh, big old buddy with the beakers. Uh, Alright, you look actually like you're a little stronger. Like, you actually pose a danger? So I had to like, oh look at that, he's got the projectile flask. Still kind of a joke, sadly. But you know, you see all the bleakers, because he's made a science! SCIENCE DEATH! <laughs> and it's just... Frankenstein's here. And Frankenstein is not here anymore. And I'm pretty sure this is the last boss in the game you can more or less uh, fireman. Because I think that if I just committed to the fireman, I could have just fireman him. But I didn't, so you know, I had to move a little bit. But that's the last time! Um... You actually have to fight bosses a little bit better. Uh, going forward. I pause, but there's still motion! Yeah. Next time, the level that I always thought looked the best. It's a really cool looking level. I don't really remember what you do in it, though. <laughs>